we're going to now create a simple dirt material to blend in with our rocks here. So we're going to just kind of start up in this area up here. In fact, let's just put a frame around this. And let's name this rocks. So let's just to kind of tidy that off a little bit. So let's pull this over. Let's cr start creating our simple dirt. So we're just going to start off with a fractal sum base. Let's bring the roughness of this up to 0 0.5, 0 0.46. Sorry, because we don't really want it to be that rough and noisy. Uh, and then a min level of four. Min level of four. And a max level of 12. Let's just bring that up. So we get this sort of cloudy, but if we zoom in, we still get some of the sort of lighter, kind of no muddy noise that you might see on a mud or dirt texture. So let's drop in a moisture noise. And we're going to blend these, blend these two together. Let's see if we can change some parameters here. So we'll leave the scale at one. We'll put the disorder up a little bit to 0.44. Uh, let's change the pattern size up a little bit. So that's 1.4 by 0.8. Just gonna get some narrower shapes in there. Let's change the angle a little bit as well. I never really tend to do that so let's just change the angle over there and then change the global opacity to 1.04 just kind of even that out a little bit pattern angle random to 0.46 excellent so we just kind of altered that moisture noise a little bit from kind of what a base looks like so you can see that's what it was before and this is kind of what it looks like now Great, so let's blend these together and let's blend them using a soft light at around 0 0.5, 0 0.56. Excellent, and then let's put down multi-directional warp. Um, multi-directional warp. Put it on itself. Put this to chain. Intensity to 7.5 and then 120 for the angle. Keep the directions at 4, that's fine. Again, we're just going to get some of that sort of pinching and pulling and pushing on itself effect like we did previously with our rocks. Let's do that. And then let's uh, create a Perlin noise. Scale 14. Uh, the disorder 0.32. Looks a bit fine. And let's do uh, multi multi-directional warp. That based on this. And let's pull this up pretty high. Um, angle minus 20. That's fine. And let's change this back to average. Uh, and you'll see that we, we don't get this sort of crazy look anymore. So here we go. Awesome. And then let's blend that back down on our previous um, noise that we've made. Again, let's do a soft light noise at around 0 0.6, 0 0.63. And you can see we're just starting to get these sort of larger shapes that were created using this multi-directional warp. And then let's go for a little bit of some smaller noises. So let's put in a black and white spots three. Let's just leave that um, kind of as it is and we can blend that down as an overlay. And let's bring that all the way down so you can see that there's quite a lot of stuff there. So let's just bring that down 0 0.16. Just giving us some smaller micro noise, but let's do a warp so we can always warp based on our previous noise, our previous height map. Let's 
keep this at 180, keep this all the same here. And then let's blend that down on top. So let's just to see what we're working with here. Let's just put this up here. It might look kind of crazy. Okay, cool. So got some of that micro noise there from the from this. So if we move back, you'll see that it kind of disappears. We've got these sort of larger shapes here from the previous one, and there are more macro shapes from the previous one after that. So I'm just gonna go one step a little further and try and edit in some sort of like sort of micro pebbling um, to give the effect of really small stones kind of coming in between these stones here. So let's throw down a dirt five so we can see that these got these sort of like sort of uh, little kind of clumps, clusters of um, circles. We're going to use them to try and kind of influence smaller stones. So let's put down a dirt three, which again has these sort of spheres. Um, we're going to kind of use both of these together. So let's put a blend. Let's max lighten them so that we can get both of them kind of together. As before, in fact, let's just take it from over here. Let's do a multi-directional warp based on our previous height. Let's change the angle uh, on this to point uh, to minus four nine, and then let's bring the intensity down. So we're only getting a little bit of it. So if I just go click here, then click there, just kind of just nudges it a little bit. Just to give it a bit of movement. Make sure, yep, this is average and at four. So let's let's blend these back in. Let's go blend these down on top of these. Uh, max Layton. Not add sub, max Layton. Excellent. So now we're seeing these smaller kind of pebble like stones, but we're only seeing them kind of every now and again, like we're just seeing them in the darker areas, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring the range of our previous dirt down. So we're going to keep the range, but we're going to bring the position down to 0.3. And now we can see a lot more of them and it's just going to kind of level out our dirt as well for when we start to blend it in. So let's take this dirt and do a directional warp and we're going to take their height from over here or from our rock noise we're going to bring that up and we're just going to warp this dirt based on our uh, rock height map and let's do an angle of minus 63 and intensity of 4.3 uh, if we just you can just see that it kind of just nudges it in the direction using the rock noise as its influence. Excellent. So let's just, so we don't get s something too noisy like this. Uh, let's place a blur. So we're just blurring the original height map a little bit. And we can just keep that at 10, but let's put the quality up. And we're not getting some, we're not getting the kind of fractured noise that we were getting, which is coming from things like our slope blur. Auto levels this. Bring this down, cool. I'm not quite liking the way it's looking at the moment. So let's go back to, let's bring this down a little bit so they're not so high in value. Let's bring that down to 0 0.09. Yeah, that feels a lot better. Excellent, so now we're using the full range at all levels and now we can control that range uh, by using a scram range node. Uh, let's bring the range down so we've got slightly flatter dirt just so that we don't get, um, just so that it kind of works in between our stones here and it doesn't overtake any of our stones where we don't want it to. And our position is going to be 0 0.1. 
want air to help with the blending that we're about to do in just a moment. That will just kind of bring it down to the range that we need it to be at. Let's just bring that over so we can see what's happening. So it's, you can see that it's just flat, flattened down a little bit to help us blend in with our rocks. Great. So let's just bring this up here and let's frame that off. Call it dirt. And that will do for our sort of this simple dirt we're going to make. Now let's blend this dirt in with our rocks. So what we can do is we can just use a nice and simple height blend node. Let's plug that in there and that in there. And then we can just pull this down. And there we go, done. So it doesn't look quite that good. So let's see if we can tweak, tweak some of these things um, before they go into the height blend, okay? Just to make it blend that much easier. So let's do a non-uniform blur. And we'll base it off of the original height map. And let's change the intensity down to 1.15, 1.4 even. Um, and then let's just samples four or five. That's fine. That should be okay. Cool. We just want to blur underneath the rocks before we blend up. Uh, we bring uh, the rocks on top. So let's put that down there. Don't really make much of a difference, but we'll in just a second with what we're about to do next, which is we're just going to bring the areas of dirt around the rocks up a little bit just to meet the rocks a little bit so that we get this sort of lip up towards the rocks. So to do that, we can put down a blur, pop that into there, bring the quality up. Let's change the intensity to five, even 5.33. Five point three three. Great. Now let's auto levels that because the blur would have taken it out of range. And then soft light that on top of our dirt. So soft light. Soft light. Excellent. And then bring that down a little bit. So zero point five five. Cool. And then let's plug that in. Cool. Um, and then let's actually take our rock here and let's change the position in the heat map that it is on. So uh, range. Bring the range up almost to its fullest and bring it down in the heat map value. So let's plug that into here. And let's just kind of tidy this up a little bit. Now let's play uh, with the values within the height blend node. So we're going to change the height offset to 0.32. Bring it back down. Contrast, we're going to change that to 0.63 and change it to bottom height priority. And we can see we're starting to get some of the dirt kind of going up onto the rocks there, which is nice. Great. Let's frame this off as our blending stage. And then we can move on. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. You can watch the next part by clicking the screen or the link in the description. If you would like to get your hands on these source files for this tutorial, then they can be found at the link in the description below as well.